Imagine sinking past the last shards of sunlight through miles of midnight water when suddenly out of the gloom drifts what looks like a tiny crimson Dracula cloak, complete with glowing fingertips and eyes the size of jawbreakers. That, my friends, is Vampirotuthis Infernalis, literally the vampire squid from hell. And today we're dedicating the next bit to everything you never knew you needed to know about this misunderstood deep sea god. I'm Caleb and this is All Things Marine Life, and if bioluminescent boogers and deep sea ocean scavengers sound like your vibe, punch that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what sea creature should get the spotlight next. All set, let's dive in because to meet one of these animals you have to dive 800 meters and hold your breath for two hours, so I hope you're okay with that. So first things first. Despite the name, a vampire squid is neither a squid or an octopus. Around 300 million years ago, before dinosaurs even auditioned for land lizard fame, the cephalopod family tree split three ways. One branch gave us modern squids, another octopuses, and a lone third branch led to exactly one survivor. Our caped wonder here. It's the sole member of its entire family, Vampirotuthidae a living fossil gliding through the water with the easy confidence of someone who's watched whole geological eras come and go. Full size is roughly around the size of a loaf of sourdough. Body and arms together max out around 30 centimeters or about one foot. That tiny package sports the largest eye to body ratio of any animal on earth. Each orb is nearly as big as a marble and takes up a good chunk of head real estate. Shine a light on them in an ROV video and they flash ruby red, dim the lights and they shimmer sapphire blue, a trick of physics caused by how different wavelengths scatter at depth. Speaking of depth, vampire squids stake their claim in the oxygen minimum zone between 6 and 1000 meters where dissolved oxygen can dip below 3% of surface levels. Down there, most aerobic animals tap out, but the vamp has physiology straight out of a bioengineering textbook hyper-efficient, copper-based blood proteins, gigantic gills, and a metabolism that idles lower than some hibernating mammals. Scientists joke it's the Prius of the deep sea, sipping oxygen so slowly it can just hang motionless as bits of the upper ocean snow down around it. And that snow, marine snow, is dinner. Forget the horror movie hype, vampire squids are detritivores, the Roombas of the Twilight Zone. Two stretchy velar filaments tucked away beneath their arms spool out eight times their body length to trap a confetti of dead plankton, fecal pellets, gelatinous snot, and other glamorous debris. They reel the mess in, glaze it in mucus, and swallow. Hoving and Robison's now classic Monterey Bay Aquarium Institute footage from 2012 sealed the deal. These capes are more garbage collectors than bloodsuckers, though I'll admit Roomba Squid doesn't slap as hard on a movie poster. Of course, drifting at power save speeds makes you vulnerable. Enter one of the coolest defense mechanisms in the sea. Instead of classic black ink, the vampire squid's arm tips fire sticky bioluminescent mucus loaded with twirling particles that glow for up to 10 minutes. Picture a glitter bomb going off in a dark room. Predator blinded, squid gone. If a pursuer actually grabs it, the animal whip flips into what researchers call the pineapple posture, inverting that velvet web over its body so only spiky arm series stick out. Tasteful and terrifying. Now for reproduction. Most squids are boom and bust, spawn once, die young, rock and roll. The vampire squid plays the long game. A 2015 study revealed females mature slowly, then spawn dozens of tiny clutches over many years resting months between broods. Eggs, about 3,000 in total inventory, drift off. Hatchlings rise to shallower, oxygen-richer layers, grow pig-shaped fins, then gradually descend as they graduate to garbage-eating adulthood. Estimates put maximum lifespan near a decade. Rare longevity for a soft-bodied cephalopod. Evolutionary cousins? Think Dumbo octopuses with their ear-like fins. In fact, our vamp keeps its fin pair from hatchling to grandparent stage, a mashup feature that hints at its missing link heritage. Not quite a squid, not quite octo. Even its internal shell is odd, reduced to a gelatinous rod called a stylet, more gummy bear than bone. Field stories. Monterey Bay Aquarium tried exhibiting one in 2014. 
People queued for hours expecting a bloodthirsty monster. Instead, they watched a loaf-sized shadow float serenely in circles. Kids loved it. Adults learned patience. Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute also built a 12-foot inflatable vampire squid that tours California schools. Nothing says science assembly like a giant red balloon with glow sticks for arms. And the mysteries keep coming. In July 2024, researchers surveying the South China Sea filmed what appeared to be a new species, dubbed Vampirotuthis pseudo-infernalis, sporting broader webs and paler tips. Genetic tests are underway, but if confirmed, it would double the family headcount overnight. Meanwhile, genome projects have flagged light production genes unlike any luciferin systems known from other glowing cephalopods. Potential biotech treasure. Ecologically, every filament load of marine snow that a vampire squid packets into its guts ends up sinking deeper as feces, helping to shuttle carbon to the abyssal floor. So, in a weird twist, the squid from hell may be a quiet ally in Earth's climate machine. On the flip side, proposed deep sea mining could stir up sediment clouds thick enough to clog those delicate feeding lines, while a warming climate is expanding low oxygen layers horizontally, even as they thin vertically. Habitat shuffle in real time. Okay, lightning round mythbusters before we surface. Do they suck blood? Nope, they slurp snow. Are they dangerous to humans? Only if you're a diver with a submarine access and very poor judgment. Largest eyes for its body size? Confirmed. Can those eyes really change color? Absolutely. The physics of light penetration does the costume change for them. And that about wraps our grand tour. From bioluminescent glitter bombs to make the best of what falls diet plans, Vampire Squids Prove the Deep Ocean writes better science fiction than Hollywood on its best day. If this episode lit up your imagination, hit that like button so the algorithm knows we're onto something. Want me to deep dive into their new potential cousin, or maybe their plush-eared buddies, the Dumbo Octopus? Drop your request down below on what we should cover next. I read them all, even the ones written entirely in squid emojis. Subscribe for more long-form dives, short fact bursts, and the occasional meme. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and remember, the ocean is huge, but our understanding is still fun-sized.